Actually, you know, Ridgewood is in the cusp of Queens and Brooklyn. Yeah. And they did say, like, this area brings the best of both boroughs. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. A girl was born and raised in Queens, so I thought it would be appropriate to do a where to go and places to eat in Queens. So today we're going to be exploring cafes, restaurants, bars, and some thrift shops maybe. So let's head on over together. Out named Ridgewood, the fourth coolest neighborhood in the world this year. Alright, first stop, we're gonna grab some coffee and a light breakfast at Norma's Corner Shop. really bad ass for reflux right now, so like we had to get a cappuccino with a lot of milk. <laughs> this place is really poppin'. There's no indoor seating, but lots of outdoor seating. Lots of benches, and today's weather is perfect for us to just like relax, a cup of coffee. Bread is crispy. I haven't had a New York bagel like that in a long time, so that really hit the spot for me. Wow, the weather is so gorgeous today. Where should we go now? Let's check out some. Let's check out some stores. I have the brown corduroy that you're yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But what do you think of the fit? Let me see the material. Oh. Okay, if it's like under twenty dollars, I might buy it. Or he's thirty dollars. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> oh, babe, I am buying. <laughs> There's a lot of good stuff around here. Yeah, yeah. Recently I was like reading an article and it said like Ridgewood is like the fourth coolest mm -hmm. in the world this yeah. year. So I was like, I need to check it out. We are at Julia's now for lunch. It's also a super hot spot, super packed. 
but we got really lucky and got a table for two inside, so very excited for the food. And I heard that this place is really cute too at nighttime. They have like a nice bar going on and yeah, very aesthetic. <laughs> this is an arepa with um, egg, uh, I forgot what was on it. Spicy pork, it's kind of like carnitas, and um, I think it's like a pesto that I forgot. But everything smells amazing. If you guys are looking for a brunch spot, I highly recommend Julia's. The vibes were amazing, service was so superb. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, she was so nice. And like the food was just so good. What was your favorite? Yeah, easily the toasted goat. Yeah, that the one was good. The goat cheese, fig jam, bacon, and honey. Yeah. But the, the fact that we ordered the arepas and the fig jam, yeah, toast it was, together, good, it was such a good, good combo. combo. Yeah. Savory and sweet. I love it when the meal hits. All right, we're gonna head to one more spot and then take a quick break, go to Williamsburg to watch some UFC because today's like one of the biggest cards of the year. And then, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna head back to Queens, Ridgewood for dinner and meet with our high school friends. We are at a bookstore called Topos. They also have a cafe. Do you know what gas station this looks like? Gas station? Oh, yes. Yeah. Mobile. Oh, also, I didn't realize it's very close to a train station. Well, actually, you know, Ridgewood is in the cusp of Queens and Brooklyn. Yeah. And they did say, like, this area brings the best of both. Boroughs. Very quaint. Yeah. I highly recommend people checking this area out. <laughs> Even though it's a little yeah, bit out of definitely. the way to get here, I think it's worth it. But we didn't have a hard time finding parking. <laughs> okay, so we are at a brewery now. It's called Evil Twin Brewery. And today's probably one of the last few weekends we could enjoy an outdoor brewery situation. Is this where we ordered? Is this where we ordered the drinks or is it inside inside? Inside? This is a very family friendly beer garden. <laughs> See a lot of kids, dogs. So we are now walking over to um, dinner. We're gonna be eating at this Nepalese restaurant called Wild in Kathmandu. So, very excited. Heard really good reviews about this place, so. Pumped! I am hungry! Yeah, I like that. <laughs> nice. Thank you. <laughs> No brown people. Yeah. 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 Made out of potato and cauliflower. 
Last part of the video, we just finished eating dinner at Wild in Kathmandu and now we are at this cute bar. We found seating for the eight of us and their board games, Jenga. Like the music's not too loud, I feel like everyone could hear each other talk, so it's a really cute bar. Highly recommend. Oh my god, try it. It's okay, go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs>